Shalom, all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and the others, great millstone Bashem Rakak Dash. My name is Yakabo from Plain Tables Camp in Philly. This is um The Lord have not given us a spirit of fear. It should be a short lesson. It says canceling plans. I never want to get sick again. Uh if I do eventually Hopefully we will have treatments to keep people from getting severely ill or dying. All right. And this is based around our faith. All right. So basically the, the, it got the miracle drug. Now you can uh, digest the miracle drug. Uh, or at least that helps for part of what they say. All right. Whether it works or not, you know, we're not interested. All right. This is um, 2 Timothy 1 and 6. Wherefore, I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of the power which is in thee by putting on of my hands. For the power hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of, and of love and of a sound mind. All right. <clears throat> now, in the, the Bible... It's recorded in the book of Leviticus about plagues, about uh, sicknesses in which if you are pronounced unclean, you're supposed to separate yourself. All right. So it's not a strange thing that uh, if you get sick, you're supposed to separate yourself. All right. Now, of course, here it gives you something very specific. All right. But in general... If you get sick, a certain um, disease or whatever, you know, that uh, is contagious or assumed uh, contagious, it's not, um, say, going against the, the scriptures to separate yourself. All right. Because this example here in Leviticus 13 is gives you uh, an, a, a good account of separation. And Esau, he's, he, just, he just copies off the, the Bible and with the law. And... Uh, makes up his own uh, doctrine out of it all right every part of what he's doing now he gets exactly from here from leviticus 13th chapter because remember esau studies everything all right the scriptures say that he's wiser than daniel all right so and he's copying things that he they've done you know our people done and you know how the edomites done you know hundreds of years ago this is recycling it all right so leviticus 13 30 uh, then the priest shall see the plague and behold, if it be in the sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a dry skull, even a leprosy upon the head. And if the priest look on the plague of the skull, and behold, it be not deeper than the skin, and that there is no black hair in it, then the priest shall shut him up. Shock it, shock it. Then the priest shall shut up him that hath the plague of the skull seven days. All right. In the seventh day, the priest shall look on the plague, and behold, if the skull spread not, and there be in it no yellow hair, and the skull be not in deeper than the skin, he shall be shaven, but the skull shall not be shaven, and the priest shall shut him up that hath the skull seven days more. All right. So Esau is, you know, he's saying, you know, you, uh, you know, separate yourself, take time off, or whatever. You know, you got that from the scriptures. You got cigar, a cigar. Uh, says um, it means that the, the clothes in or out of something. All right, to close, close up, to be shut or closed, to shut up, to shut up, to imprison. All right, so either in or out of something. All right, and this is referring to uh, with the leprosy from the congregation. You know, you're supposed to separate yourself until the plague runs its course. All right, it says, um, Let's go with some more points. I think I highlighted it. All right, right here. It says, uh, he's a leprous man. He's unclean. The priest shall pronounce him 
utterly unclean, his plague is in his head. 1345. And the leper in whom the, the plague is, his clothes shall be rent and his head bare. And he shall put on uh, upon him, uh, upon his upper lip and shall cry unclean, unclean. And he shall put a covering upon his upper lip. That sounds familiar. And shall cry unclean, unclean. All right. So he's always telling you, you know, wash your hands, uh, wash your clothes, disinfect everything. They get that from the scriptures. The, the, this is why the, the Lord told us to follow the law. Because this makes us clean and separates us from the filthiness of the other nations. All right. Wash, yeah, washing your hands before you eat and all that. That comes, that's that's a t tradition amongst our people. All right. And the leper, in whom the plague is, his clothes shall be rent, and his head bare, and he shall put a covering upon his upper lip. Right. And shall cry unclean, unclean. All the days wherein the plague shall be on him, he shall be defiled. He is unclean. He shall dwell alone without the camp. He shall, uh, the camp, without the camp shall his habitation be. All right. So the plague of leprosy, you had to separate yourself from the main camp. When we were in the wilderness, we had to separate. To, if you had leprosy, you had to separate yourself. If we, we were in our uh, homes or tents or whatever, we would have to separate ourselves, and we were unclean for a certain amount of time—14 days exactly. And coincidentally, that's exactly the time they say with this thing going on—14 days. All right, coincidence? Uh, I don't think so. Esau studies the Bible. He gets everything from the scriptures. All right? So this particular sickness, you had to separate yourself. And when, when, remember what the Lord said, that there are going to be plagues that are not written in the book. All right. So we got to use our wisdom. All right. Well, based upon what? The Holy Spirit, our history. All right. And make wise decisions. All right. These things are written for our learning. All right? they ain't, they're not written just because they're not old, you know, done away with. Right, but but they're so done away with why 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 does it keep being used why does it keep being brought up but they're not giving the credit to the author which is Yahweh Shai all right he's the author and author and finisher of our faith all right uh so that's that I move to the second part I mean that's undeniable I mean if you didn't get what I read just rewind the video and listen to it again let's see this word one more time. Well, let me look at that word. Uh, it's shut, uh, to be shut or closed in or out with something. All right. Uh, let's say he shall dwell alone. All right, let's look at that. He shall dwell probably alone, probably. Reputation of the camp alone. It may not be the exact. Oh, no. There it is. We uh, Badad. It says to withdraw, be separate, be isolated. I mean, like, so it's not beyond the the realm of uh, you know logic, you know, being spiritual, you know that you know there'll be similar plagues that'll come where you have to do uh, something similar, you know. There you go. So take that how you digest it how you will. Um, what was my other point? Spirit of fear, you know. And again, I'm not afraid of getting sick. So, um, we can take our necessary precautions and um, get back to work. That's it. Right? It's just, it's, we got to keep this uh, ministry on the road. Uh, so, I think I had this article. Yeah, this has happened yesterday probably. Today's Friday. This is New Year's Eve. This probably happened. Yesterday, or last night. Uh, yeah, yeah. So right there, uh, ABC News, Philadelphia. Over 65 shots fired on busy Philadelphia streets. This happened in Germantown. Uh, six wounded. This is a neighborhood in Philadelphia. Uh, Philadelphia police say six people were shot as two gunmen fired dozens of shots on a street full of full of uh, busyness late Thursday. 
full of businesses. Business. All right, full of businesses. Uh, late Thursday. All right, today's Friday. So the article was print, uh, so it was copied from the Associated Press, actually. It said, Philadelphia, two gunmen fired more than 65 rounds on Philadelphia Street, sending nighttime pedestrians on a busy block teeming, because people can team, by the way, not just reptiles. Go back, go back to Genesis, the first uh, uh, chapter. And I did a video on this a while ago, 2015 and 2021, and I re-uploaded it. People can team and swarm, not just reptiles. All right, um, that's on private though. I may put it back on uh, public soon. It says, uh, sending uh, nighttime pedestrians on a busy block, teeming uh, with markets and restaurants, scrambling for cover. Uh, and injured six people, at least one of them critically, uh, police say. Now, I think they were trying to kill this woman, whoever. Uh, yeah, cause, so because iniquity shall abound, and love of men shall wax cold. You know, women used to be safe, you know, from retribution and revenge. Now they <laughs> getting a little more rough. They started not, starting not, not to care and, you know, pursue pursue that anymore. They just, a, lot, a lot of them getting... Uh, getting judged now there used to be men that used to get you know murdered and done dirty and all that and jammed and women women starting to suffer more all right it says the injured woman who suffered the most gunshot wounds may have been the intended target all right link could be in the description box i'm not gonna read any more the point is uh yeah we gotta be wise we can't be hanging around areas well really this is any this should get cabin anywhere but we got to be wise and not subject ourselves to unnecessary uh, danger. All right. Man, shit going to happen. All right. We, we're not afraid. All right. We're never, no matter what happened, we're not afraid. We got to keep it moving. We got to use our wisdom. Be circumspect. Mean to look around. All right. Uh, Yahweh shines our shield. All right. Second Timothy 1 to 7. For the power have not given us a spirit of fear but power and love and of a sound mind where you at sound oh sound mind compound word okay so ought to be good so franismas so franismas an admonishing a calling of soundness of mind to moderation and self-control, indulging over much pleasure, being places where you ain't supposed to be at, creeping, and self-control, self-control, moderation, the avoidance of excess or extreme extremes, especially in one's behavior or political opinion. Well, of one's behavior, All right, self-control, discipline, self-control, sound, self, sound mind or a whole mind. Uh, complete as it all as it ought to be disciplined all right that's it there Let's see uh, be not though therefore ashamed of the testimony of our lord uh, nor of me his prisoner but be the partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of the Yahweh Mashim Yahweh Shai. Yeah, because yeah, we got to live a separate life, you know. So it's like certain things that we're not going to either want to do or have think twice about doing, you know, running with the world, you know. It's, it's, be, it's, it's okay to be called, you know, derogatory names. All right. Alright, so and that's the, f the first thing you know people try to do. They try to shame you, and uh, <laughs> if you only knew, they try to shame you. You know, we're we're not supposed to really we're not supposed to engage in that behavior. Alright, it's a lot of details to that, but I'll leave it there. Alright, um, this is um, I suppose says. Abraham, Abram promised a son. It's Isaac, and Isaac shall thy seed be called. Genesis 15, 1. After these things, the word of Yahweh came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram. 
I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. Alright. And lastly, Genesis 15, 6. And he believed in Yahweh and he counted it to him for righteousness. Alright, so no matter what we endure, what comes uh, on us, whatever the plagues come, come on us, we have the knowledge, we have the law. Alright. The law separates us from these nations. All right, we have the knowledge, the Holy Spirit, and we still and we're still using it today. All right, we're still using that that wisdom, that knowledge today. So, uh, hope you edified. Shalom. To next lesson.